What's going on, my friends? So I'm going to try out something that I've been wanting to do for a while, which is a different type of RoboTaxi sort of test, except not with a customer, unfortunately, just with me. So I'm going to use the Feeling Lucky tab to see if the system can get to these destinations without me getting involved. So here's the first one, something that looks relatively simple, Urban Wilderness Trail Mural. So once we get over here, I'll get us out of this alley just because the visibility is very poor. There we are. Okay. And then as soon as we get the notification, there it is. And we're on. Oh yeah, let me disable always rainbow road. There we go. Uh, we need to go straight. So we're already messing up, which is not ideal. Okay. But the system's correcting itself mid that's very human. <laughs> I gotta admit, that is a very human thing to do. It's like, oh, I'm in the turning lane. Shoot, I gotta get over. So this is an option that has been in this or in the cars for a very long time. I, you know, probably a year, year and a half ago, just spitballing. They added in feeling hungry and feeling lucky as options when you're navigating. Just ways to kind of explore and check out the local area, places that are highly rated or recommended by other people that have been there. I'm not sure if it's using Google data or what, but I thought about it and I was like, that's a good way to generate kind of random destination points that I could imagine somebody going to, a place that's got good ratings for food or adventure, whatever. So that is what we are trying. It looks like we actually got a couple of roundabouts that we're gonna hit along the way. So that's an added bonus. Cruising up, kind of slow here. Looks like this pedestrian's gonna cross and waiting to see it targeted. The other it is, she's in blue. Um, and we're going to cruise along. There we go. Good, 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 good. Got another pedestrian crossing up here. Now there is a chance I'm going to have to take over for potholes given the amount of rain we've had. And I want to address it in a, in a customer video via voiceover soon. Let's go through this roundabout and I'll continue that thought. Yielding to the left. So these are all relatively new. We we're kind of stopping and now we're moving on. All right, this little Toyota behind me needs to chill out. Yeah, I don't mind. We're gonna let the car go nice and slow just because you need to chill. All right, why are we stopping here? I'm gonna give a little throttle because we shouldn't be stopping. We're slowing down again. It's almost like when you give it throttle sometimes, the system's like fighting back. Like, no, I wanna stop. Anyways, um, I have a, a voiceover thing that I'm doing. That's a nice dip, wow, darn it. It's going to include things like that. So dips and potholes, things of that nature are some of the most common reasons that as a robo taxi, the system is not reliable enough yet. And that is because it is really having a hard time with these newer roundabouts here. Come on. There we go. There we go. As of right now, the system's not good at handling dips and potholes. It looks like we have another dip here. I don't know what is ha Okay. Wow. Car is just losing its mind right there. <laughs> so it would have failed this trip for sure out of sheer issues with comfort. Like that customer would never ride with me again if that was the case. All right. We need to go. There we are. Looks like we're coming into a one way. Okay. We got to navigate around this Amazon van. That is that one of the electric ones? It is. Hey, hey, that is one of the electric Rivian Amazon vans. That's really cool. My gosh, talk about being scatterbrained. Anyways, potholes and dips. Two of the most common reasons that I find that RoboTaxi trips are unreliable because if I wasn't there and you got disabled by a pothole via busted tires or you hit a dip too hard and possibly damage the vehicle or injure the customer. So yeah, no, that's just a no-go. It's funny because the system is really good at doing a lot of things and getting a lot of mundane tasks done. But when it comes to actually taking care of a customer, keeping them comfortable enough to want to come back, primarily keeping them safe for the drive, when you factor everything in that can happen on a trip from A to B, even a one that's two miles, if there's a significant enough issue with, you know, the road just being garbage, especially after it rains here in California, then that robo taxi is a dud. It's not reliable. It's, it's a hazard or a uh, liability rather. So until we have really good detection of excessive dips 
potholes, there's little things that could compromise a vehicle. I don't see the reliability, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I don't see the reliability of this as a transportation as a service really making any meaningful progress. That's how we get those things done. I mean, sure, there are trips that the system will do just fine. And if you were to geofence it to not be able to go through areas where there's known excessive dips or obstacles that it can't handle, that's fine as well. But if this needs to be a true autonomous solution for everything, there's a lot that needs to be done in that more and more specific edge case category. And in my experience, it's not as much of an edge case. All right, we're gonna cruise right into here. Very good. So we did have several issues on this trip, predominantly being the weird way that it was flipping out. I don't know if it was the refractory nature of the water on the road, plus the customer inching their way out. And then the roundabouts were a little, a little problematic. I know they're relatively new, but we pretty much made it to this destination, which is the Urban Wilderness Trail Mural. So I'm gonna take over here and we're gonna see if we can get ourselves figured out. Oh, that must be it right there. That's really cool. Urban Trails Mural. That's cool, that's cool. We'll call this the mural tour. So our next one is going to be greetings from Little Saigon. Moving on up. All right, we got some, some thrust there. All right, let's see if this leg of it goes any better. I'll probably keep this to about two per video so I can keep the video length in that sweet spot and have more content for everybody. I know that this week's been a little slow to start. The ridiculous amount of rain we've been getting, which I do traditionally love the rain, but it makes working for Uber and Lyft annoying I mean, because California drivers in the rain I'm sorry but y'all it's it's gonna be okay if it's raining just no sudden movements just drive normal but don't tap your brakes or jerk your wheel don't fly at 90 down the highway or at 30 40 miles an hour either like it's just a little water y'all live it's pretty it's pretty awful anyways uh little rant aside let's get past this little unprotected left I'm gonna take over this guy behind me is causing all sorts of, like, look at this. Look at this truck behind me. He's just messing everything up. All right. Human error on a, <laughs> on a little feeling lucky trip. Anyways, goodness. Okay. Had a little, this is a, <laughs> a two-way unprotected left, and that did not go well. <laughs> all right. I think this is proving that this will be fun. These little random spots around San Diego with some strange road markings, rules, and the way people drive in general. We are kind of in the thick of rush hour too. Uh, not that the traffic around here is quite as bad. I do apologize if I'm on a thought and I start talking and I lose it because I'm reacting to what's around me. Uh, perks to being on the spectrum, but whatever. Is this one of those like yield scenarios? All right. We're, we're moving though. Cool, good. And I remember what I was saying. So the last seven, eight days, it's been extremely difficult to get any content because of the rain. Uh, it's been raining enough that I can't even bring up FSD. So now that we've got some drier weather and uh, some daylight, I'm out here trying to get all the content I can for everybody. Now this area is kind of tough. I might need to revisit this spot and do some unguided adventures. Uh, granted, it's very grid-like, and I don't know, we'll see how it goes, but unguided adventures usually, in my experience, like going through La Jolla and on Coronado, go better with more asymmetrical routes or asymmetrical navigation where everything isn't so grid-like because we would just run the risk of going straight forever. See, this is a, an annoying case. I think this bus might get out of our way though. Okay, good. I was saying, because we need to take this right turn, and the system does not like trying to make that maneuver around a big vehicle like that that's sitting in the way. But that worked out pretty well. Only one disengagement so far on this leg of it, except for here. Look at these dips. Look at these dips. But we're going kind of, we're, we're cruising slower. Oh, and a little braking there. See, there's hope. It doesn't always do that. It's not consistent enough that I would just be okay with it taking on anything. So like, this is another one. You can see where everyone scratches their car. It's that time, okay, that little wiggle, we had refractory water on the road plus a human inching out and we had a similar behavior. So that pretty much confirms with the first leg that that's what happened. Um, not that it, it might all just be the human that was peeking out, but the refractory water just happened to be in both places. 
correlation and causation, you know the saying, right? If you don't, somebody in the comments will let you know. All right, come on, buddy. You go ahead and go. Just It's better for humans to just kind of kick this off when they get to these four-way stops. Otherwise, the system will take too long. We are inching really slow. All right, I'm giving it throttle. That was bad. I don't know if it's because this is a more narrow residential street, but that was painful. All right. Not too much more to go on this course. I think this is fun though. I'm gonna try some random feeling lucky, maybe mix in feeling lucky, feeling hungry, just to try to get some more variety in the routes. And we need to be going already. Cool, because this guy's inching, which could, okay, it didn't, good, good, good. Sometimes when humans continue to like slowly California roll their inch forward over the white line, the full self driving is like, uh, okay, I'm gonna wait now because you're clearly gonna go. And that just creates a headache. It's kind of like the whole like, wait, who's going? <laughs> when I'm with a customer, typically there, I'll just hit the throttle because I'm not trying to waste their time. But again, by myself, like I tell customers, I'm a lot more risk tolerant. I will not be a deliberate inconvenience to other drivers though, if I can avoid it. It's like, we're taking a little bit longer here, inching our way. It's still a lot better than it used to be. I've already given some nod to the system. Sorry, I was gritting my teeth there because it's another dip. But I've given a nod to the improvement in leaving stop signs in one of my recent gauntlet videos and better path planning along routes. It's There's definitely some improvement there, which I'm really happy to report. So we shouldn't be making a right turn. Okay, good. Yeah, so let's say we should go straight. Woo! These two. All right, uh, we also need to look at, yep, I'm gonna take over. She's not even looking. Wow, my gosh, look both ways when you're pulling your vehicle out in a spot like this. That should be common sense. Look both ways. She did not look to the left even once. And she was not backing out sharp enough to warrant not needing to look left. Still, look left anyway. Be aware, people. It's, oh, man, it's so bad. We were close enough to her, though, that it made more sense for me to punch it to get out of there just in case she would have kept on moving. I've had issues in the past where, not in this car, but in a rental, where just backing out of a parking spot in a Walmart, this big SUV just backed right into me with no clue. I'm like, ha, oh, man, that's awesome. This guy just ran the stop sign. Good job. You're on camera, dingus. <laughs> Oi. Human error, human error. All right, so as we're wrapping this up, let me know what you all think about this style. I want to find fun ways to keep testing to bring you more content without just overplaying the gauntlet. I like to keep the gauntlet a little bit more specific in that sense. Um, I'm not going to have this thing navigate me down an alleyway, so I'm actually going to take over and uh, we'll consider this the stop because I guess this is another mural, which makes sense that it would navigate us that way. But this is fun, this is fun. Um, actually, you know what, Why? I wanna, I wanna drive down there because y'all got to see the first mural, so to speak. So why don't we go ahead and take a look at this one? So apparently the mural is supposed to be right up here. Is this truck parked here? Okay, so while we're stuck behind this truck in some weird traffic scenarios, I'll figure that out. Thank you all for viewing this. Uh, let me know what you thought, you know, like, share, all the good stuff. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care.